Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. We beat the game last time and uh, in between I did a few raids and by a few I mean uh, <laughs> you might be a little strong now. Not perfected. I still need to make him be the better he, he can be. Like for instance, uh, he needs to learn Drain Punch. I've learned now that that is apparently the move for uh for these battles because if you're doing these sorts of battles you need to be able to punch and get back your stuff so honestly get rid of breaking swipe here because i mean how often do you need to use dragon only for dragons so like that's whatever so we're gonna get rid of breaking swipe breaking swipe and drain punch is kind of the go-to thing there i have basically gave him all the stats that we can give him uh so we, we we've hopefully made him be quite powerful Right, but that said, we still have uh, we still have some stuff to do, which is why we're here. Um, I did have to go outside. I actually, before we go, I might as well show off some of the the silly silly little mons I got. Uh, so I got my boxes. The nice thing is, you seem to be guaranteed, so I appreciate that. Um, so we got a Haxorus, Fairy type. Okay, okay. Um, oh, we got a Volcarona, Dark type. Halucha, who's grass. Don't make sense to me. Electric Dragonair, that, that works. Fighting type Slowking. Now, here's the crazy thing. I learned something else out that's the most insane thing I think Pokemon has ever done. So, I'm going to put him in my party. He's level 70, which is cool, 75. But if we're going to go to his moves, we can go to Remember Moves. And he has a move called Chilling Rece Chilly Reception. So, listen up. This is a move where the user tells a chillingly bad joke before switching places with a party Pokemon in waiting, and it summons a snow storm lasting five turns. Only Slow King can learn this. No other character. None of them. This is a reference to in Pokemon the Movie 2000, when he says, I need pants, um, in the snow. I cannot believe they've made that be real. And yeah, as of now, because here's the thing, the user tells a chillingly bad joke. What other Pokemon can tell jokes? Like, think about it. Yeah, there's a few psychic types, but like most of them can't. It's a little strange. So what a move. We did get a flying type King Gambit. So we got one. I just, I was pre, pre done like that. Dark type Glamora, Fighting type Scovillain, Psychic type Fletchinder, Fire type Crocodile, Crocodile, Crook, Crocodile. That's how you say it. It's pretty good. Okay, this pisses me off. Look at Electros's, um, look at his po pose there, and you're like, oh my god, is he is he finally fixed? No. Pisses me off. He shouldn't be like that. Got a Water type Ditto, and hey, I found myself a grass version of the water type Tauros, which is which is pretty fun there. Um, but otherwise, we have some stuff to do. So, let's first off go to the director's office, because we were called there. I mean, I'm sure we're definitely not in trouble. I think we're in trouble. I think we're directly in trouble. Uh, looks like the hero's finally here. Would you join us, Master Tana? We're in for an earful, aren't we? Guess we'll find out soon enough. No need for concern, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. Oh. Uh, based? I merely call you all here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the professor's time machine and thus prevented the ancient Pokemon from running rampant across Paldia. Your actions were truly outstanding in every regard, and I couldn't be prouder of all of you. Oh. Your decision to enter a strictly off-limits area was admittedly <clears throat> regrettable. <laughs> you got us there. However, since this was necessary to protect Pauli and its precious ecosystems, I am willing to overlook that particular point. <sighs> so we're not getting raked over the coals after all. Oh, before I forget, Master Tanner, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends have received one already, so this is for you, is what I think. Yeah, it's a Master Ball. Nice. Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago. That gift is one we bestow only upon students who achieve truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor what that badge represents by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. I put those on. 
but those are my pogies. Splendid. Such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. And, Master Arvin, I was so sorry to hear about the Professor. You have my deepest consolences. condolences. Oh, well, yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my mom had died. But, weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now, for the first time in ages. In the Great Crater, I gotta learn a bit about my mom's research and what she was trying to achieve down there. I guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showing, showering your son with affection, huh? All I know is, I'm done feeling like some lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye and move on. I'm gonna enjoy every last day till graduation with my buds here, and my boss stiff, of course. Well said, Master Arvin, you truly are your mother's son. Of course, I must remind you that you've nowhere near enough credits to graduate. You'll need to study frantically to catch up, but I have every expectation of your success. What? And let us not- Yeah, because you guys skipped classes. I didn't. I was a good boy. And let us not forget the other good news. Our Academy is a new champion. Though, sadly, we cannot make your valiant deeds in the Great Crater known to the public, your new champion rank at least should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Oh, I know how we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon Battle Contest. Of course, that's what you say. Seriously, could we not? Classic Nimona. A Pokemon Battle Contest, you say? Well, your own vested interests in such a venture are more than apparent, Mr. Mona. I think it's a fine idea. Please understand that such a large-scale event will be quite beyond us. We have many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Part of my intrusion, I couldn't help but overhear. Who? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. The Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. La Primera? Well, well, a most kind offer, Chairwoman Gita. I do everything in my power to nurture young and up-and-coming talent, though that's not to say that only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokemon battles. A former gym leader, the developer of the Pokedex app, this academy counts nearly many uh, counts many skilled trainers among, of Pokemon among its staff. As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff should compete for the title of strongest trainer at the academy. Wow, we get about the teachers? You compete too, right, Primera? Is that even allowed? The chairwoman's not part of the academy, right? Actually, I think she's chairwoman of the school board, as well as of the Pokemon League. Wait, for real? I knew she was on another level, but wow. Thank you for the invitation, Champion Nimona. I would gladly take up your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work that I simply must attend to. Uh, can't you free up time somehow? Well, I suppose we might be able to participate if Champion Tanner would agree to lend a hand with my work. Where should I start? There's work? Excellent answer. Much obliged, Champion Tanner. To get straight to it, wait what? I would like you to go to investigate Capaldi's various gyms in my stead. Oh, are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming to achieve champion rank, or has their brilliance started to fade? To find this out, I must ask you to bring your full might as a champ- Oh, do we have champion uh, uh, gym leader rematches? To bear against each of gym leaders and test their prowess in battle. Uh-huh. They are all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personally. I do not expect you'll find any cracks in their armor, but, well, consider a formality. This will also provide a perfect stage for your first appearance as a new champion. Since all the gym leaders will be expecting me to carry the inspection, I imagine they'll have mustered their strength. I dare say they may be more of a challenge when, uh, than when you faced them before. You can have all out battles with gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous. Now then, on to another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny here how to patch the weaknesses in our League Point system. Um, oh my god. But there's a bunch of anime that I missed that I was just gonna binge. She just like me for real. Thank you in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. I mean, I'll, I'll do it. I'll help. Let me help. Excellent. Well, uh, we'll leave you all to it then. Come now, Penny. It's okay. You have two monitors. One for anime, one for work. This is awesome, Tanner. Show this inspection thing who's boss of La Primera can join our tournament, okay? And enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take care- Oh, that's the wrong voice. I'll take care of filling out the forms and other administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournament in the meantime. I say, it's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You each have a critical role to play. 
Penny assisting the league, our new champion specking gyms, Demona arranging the event. Give it your best, everyone. Hey, you got classes, bro. Guess my rules so obvious it goes without saying. Yeah, getting an education. It's a very important step, buddy. Well, before we do that, though, because we can go there... Wait, hello? Oh, right, he still needs the, the, the one. We got, a, I think, a spicy Herba Mystica, but not the others. Um, but, ooh, did I go? I went to the wrong one. Before we do that, there's a couple things that I do want to do. For one, apparently, there's some, there's some sandwich tech. There's some, some, some apparent sandwich tech you can use to get certain Pokemon to appear, and I'm kind of curious. So, uh, so we got a, a spicy Herba Mystica, which, uh, right? We got, we got, I think, the spicy Herba Mystica. We got one of them for sure. Um, where's our, where's our food picnic? Let's see here. Yeah, we got a spicy Herba Mystica. Okay. So what 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 do we do? What does that do as an ingredient? Um, let's see here. To enhance their cooking, improving their Pokemon stats. That's not what we want. Um, let's see here. They actually don't have a, a, a thing for it. Okay, recipe. What do we use it for? It's it's spicy, duh. But what does it give? Um, used in a lot of different ones. It doesn't actually say what it does, like at all. Okay, wait. Encounter power zero. Teeny. Po it gives title power. Interesting. Okay. So that one gives high title power. Sweet gives high... Oh, also title power. Never mind. I don't know how these work. Someone showed me that there is a, a recipe you can do where you, like... It, it should be fairly simple. You just add, like, peppers and you do it. Also, I guess you're out of my party now because I did that, huh? I know there's a glitch you can do to get multiple of them out in your party. So you can have one in your party, but also then the one, like, to, to use in battle. I do know that that exists, so that's kind of neat, but not something I'm necessarily wanting to do. If only there was a way to get another Coridon. If only there was some other one that you can grab. I'm looking for the sandwich shop right now, actually. I want some Sammy ingredients. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not the one that I want. I want some ingredients because I want to try and make a special, special sandwich one that will help us out a lot i need to find the one that actually gives the ingredients which is not that one okay, those are all the restaurants right we don't want restaurants we want things right here okay all right so i know we need let's see what do you have okay you, it, it, the peppers i know are apparently really good let's get some of those those okay um i okay what what is the shiny pokemon sandwich recipe because i know that people that that they exist someone sent them to me <clears throat> let's see here shiny sandwich pokemon shiny sandwiches so what what do what do we do for this because if there's ones that i want um <clears throat> Use less Herba Mystica, so they're easier to manage. Okay. So, let's see. Normal Shiny. Oh, I see. So, it's by type. So, it's like Yellow Bell Pepper, Salty Herba Mystica, Spicy Herba Mystica. So, if I, so let's say, for instance, if I'm going to be going for... Um, let's see. Because we're going we're, we're gonna to be going down to, to the, the, the underground area there. Right, we're gonna go to area zero. So in area zero, I wanna find me a shiny uh, Roaring Moon. So Roaring Moon is what type? Dark Dragon. So Dragon would be 
I would need avocado and s salty herb mystica. Does any of them use spicy? Are you serious? I don't think so, actually. So I, th I think I got the worst one. Only electric uses spicy. Great. So that means I can't do it. That's fine. Well, anyways, um, okay. So I'm going to need to do more raids for that. But that's how I'm seeing so many people with their, um, <clears throat> with their stuff, their, their shinies there when I'm going online. And I'm like, how are there so many shinies online? The answer is quite simple. Uh, you can use those sandwiches to go crazy and get as many of them as you want. So because of that, let's go and we'll head back down to the Great Crater because I do want to catch a few things before we do our rounds, right? So we'll head on down. We'll go to research station number one. So if I were to check the... So one, I want to see if we can actually like climb around here now. Please actually tell me we can. Please tell me that we are good with that because that will change things immensely. If it truly is not programmed to let us run around. Thank God, okay. So, so there is no map here actually. That's a bit annoying. Um, okay. I want to catch at least two. Okay, I'm going to need two of each of these types because here's the thing. I'm going to be... Can you, can you run away, bud? I'm going to need to be trading these to my friends. Okay. Oh my god, well, you're right there. Can you turn around? Turn around so I can snipe you? Please? Oh my god, they're popping in. Turn around. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around. Good. Is he still looking at me? Oh my god, they're just all right here, huh? Okay, well, oh my god, they're just spawning. Never mind, whatever. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Here's the first one here. It's Sandy Shocks. Let's just start with a quick ball. Probably not going to get it in the quick ball, but... Yeah, because I'm going to need two of each. I'm only going to get one here for now, for sure, but... I will need two, because I want to trade them for some of the other ones here. Sandy Shocks is cool, though. I think Metal Type is kind of the big... The big meta right now. Because there's a lot you can do with that. And fighting. Can, can uh, We can't even get Koridon at all. Um... Flip turn is super effective. It shouldn't do too much. He's cool. What a good design. So yeah, now it says the Paldia Champion. Screech. Boy, there's a lot of them kind of trying to attack me too. Okay. Ooh, that actually did like kind of perfect, huh? Okay. I'll just send out you just for now. A reliable partner. Mm, THC is C is so reliable. Okay, so now let's go with uh, not a master ball. Though if I run into like a shiny of say like Roaring Moon or something, I may then at that point because yeah. All right, Sandy Shocks was caught. We got one of you. That's cool. Okay. No record exists, data's lacking, but the traits smash up with a creature. I think that's all it's gonna say for all of them, huh? It's a bit bit of a shame. Hello. Welcome to my personal space. Please leave. I don't need you. At all. Okay, so. I was gonna say that was wasn't the the Larvesta dude just right here? Yeah. That's him right there, right? Slitherwing. Did he see me? He totally saw me already. Alright. You know what? Let's just do Poison Jab. That shouldn't do too much. Good! What a strange typing on him. I like it. He's such a little weird dude. Like, both the, both the Larvestas are good versions of them, and I'm happy that both of them exist. At first I'd be like, man, it's kind of lame that there's two of him, but like, I kind of really like the Divergent Evolution on it. 
I mean, it's also a big reference to Mothra slash, you know, Mecha. There's no Mecha Mothra, I'm pretty sure. But, like, that, it's the same thing. It's like, like, you know, Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla, you kind of got that going on. Okay. So there's way more of them than I expected to just be chilling everywhere. I was expecting them to be way more difficult to find. Okay. Slitherwing, though, gives a very different idea when you read its name, you know? I was expecting dragon with how it looks and how it is, but no, it's 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 fighting. Which is strange, but we take it. Wait, isn't it still bug? So shouldn't a netball still work on it? I think it is. We'll see here. Yeah, there we go. Slitherwing has been caught. Apparently, people are also theorizing that none of these Pokémon are real prehistoric Pokémon, and that they are all, in fact, uh, imagined. Which lends much, even more interesting ideas to, like, what these guys are. So... Let's go looking for some of the remaining ones. I do know that Roaring Moon is in one specific weird spot. He's not one that you'll just run into. I think he's in... He's in a secret cave, if I'm correct. Ooh, we got a bunch of you here. And you know what? Let's, let's just not deal with that. Oh, there is so many more of you than I thought. Again, here I was expecting them to be fairly rare. And they're super not. I can catch them off guard. It's not what I wanted to do, game. I wanted to get him in the Tukus. Not this. There's a Screamtail chilling in the wall. Come back. Not you. There we go, got him in the Tukus. You're off guard. So now that you're off guard, we'll grab a second one to trade online with our Quick Ball. Like I said, I want to get the Wiser 2 Famfy there. Oh, dang. Really, even went off guard, huh? Okay, so Poison Jab didn't do too much, so that's good. We'll do that again. Okay, and now we can repeat. Oh, that. Survive one turn and a repeat ball should then get you. Okay. Those little fanfies just chilling. Don't die. Don't die, Slitherwing. You can tank that. I know you can. I know you can, buddy. I thought they'd be a lot rarer. Dang. Goodbye. Well, that's fine. Okay, so let's just heal you up. Oh, we can go... It's just way more Pokemon here than I expected. Like, I felt like on our way down it was a lot less... Also, oh, also, he's in our party. I don't actually want you there, bud. I mean, you're cool, but you're not... You're not party-worthy, so, you know, we'll just go with... Yes. Yes. Sandy Shocks. Yes. There we go. Okay. Because we can at least run around. So... I can get the doubles later. For now, we need to find Brute Bonnet, who I feel should be near trees, I'm guessing. So at least my thought. Um, and then I think it's in like the waterfall cave that we were in before. I have a feeling that that's going to be the one where we need to go. Okay, well for now, actually, let's just honestly... We can, we can bring them back out after, but for now. Let's see here. So now that we can, like, run around and stuff. Ooh, actually. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. Hello. I see that. You, thank you. Is this just a... Is this the cave? Let's see. Well, for one, there's a lot of items here. 
Stealth Rock. Calcium. Polka Doll. Um, yes. Okay. Get him. Get that experience for everyone. Let's see here. Wipe them all out. Hmm. Is this the cave? That's the question, right? I know it's in a cave. The question is which cave, you know? Are you you're just not going to fight him? There you go. Hmm. 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 It may not be this one. God, the fact they just wild chancy spawns are the most insane thing because you can just get so much experience. Oh, Zvias. Um. Yeah, I'm not seeing. Though I think it might be a low encounter rate, too. Which would be annoying. I'll do one final loop. And if not, then we'll go look somewhere else. Okay. Our, you know what? Instead of being crazy like this and doing that, I'm just going to go... Um, roaring Moon location. Let's see here. Roaring Moon. Fly to Area Zero. Let's see here. Go to Research Station 2. You'll be outside it. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, go away, Nintendo Life. So it's a cave with... Past the waterfall. Go through the... Pi squeeze through the pile of rocks near the waterfall. Okay, so this isn't the one, I'm pretty sure. Because it doesn't look like this. There's a waterfall. This is, like, up high. Whereas instead it's, like... Here, perhaps? The lighting wasn't going nuts on us. It'd probably be easier to see. Okay. Hello, Mosque Rain. He's trying. Let's just run. Okay, just for the sake of party management, let's put you at the front. Because you're oh, strongest, probably. Um, so let's see here. It says to squish past rock. Hmm. Hmm, I say. We'll just look around, right? I could have also jumped, like, way too far down. That is entirely possible. Okay, so it's so there's it's by floating rocks like this, right? I think it's yeah. I'm looking I'm looking at a picture, and the picture is looking right here. Okay. All right, comment. So from this picture, it says, uh, "Leave the lab, follow the path down, squeeze past the waterfall, squeeze past the pile of rocks on the left, and when you reach a second, you'll find a small gap that you can squeeze through to the entrance of the cave." Okay. Small gap in the rocks you can squeeze through. Let's see here. Hello! I wish it was easier to not have to worry about you guys. Oh? Oh, wait, I think I see it. And it's not Venonat. Venomoth. Easily one of the most forgettable Gen 1 Pokemon. I am HO. Is the is it? No, that's just an item. Gosh, man. What even touched me? Where did you come from? What are you doing? Okay. Look in here to squeeze through the rocks. Boy, this is... Oh. No. Oh, well, hello. Keep turning around, keep turning around, keep turning around. Stay, stay turned around. Stay, turn around, turn around, buddy. Turn around, buddy. He's totally looking straight at me, huh? He's, yeah, he's looking straight at me. Okay. That's Brute Bonnet. 
who is apparently pretty good for, for online battles, I'll say that. Uh, he's kind of seen as one of the better ones for Scarlet, even though Violet apparently has most of the really good ones. Okay. That's fine. That's going to be annoying to fight, but whatever. Um, I don't think Aerial Ace... I was going to say I shouldn't kill. Let's just do Night Slash. Do as little damage as possible. Yeah. It's the better thing. Payback, that's going to hurt a little bit. Okay. Leave the lab, fall the path down until you get past the waterfall, pass the pile of rocks on the left until you reach a second, and find a small gap to squeeze through. Hmm. Okay, good. Don't if you if you, you don't be cringe. Don't be cringe. Well that's fine. I don't care if you kill me, I just don't want you to absorb HP at this point. You should have a decent matchup. Okay. Alright, let's go with, um, just regular Ultra Ball. Mm-hmm, 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 nice. Brute Bonnet has been caught it, caught, caught it, we do it. These ones are the most boring. It, it is nice that at least in the other version you get actual entries for them. But that's cringe. Um, let's go with... I don't... St stop adding him to my party. Okay, we can get another one of those later, though. Okay. Whatever. We'll just leave him there for now. Um, okay, so... Yeah, let's, let's just look around here. For the little cavern to squeeze into. It's not where we're looking to go. But it's going to be like... Somewhere around here. Depths. Okay, so... Just looking around for a little area. Okay, nothing here. A lot of little fellers, though. How? Um. This potion. Okay, so. Maybe it means that waterfall over there. Oh, wait. No. No, 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 that's just another way around. Okay. Boy, yeah, they hid. They sure hid this. Chansey? Every time I see a Chansey, my brain goes, ooh, experience, even though I don't really need it right now. Um. Okay. Waterfall. We're just going to keep going around until we find it. Hmm. I wonder if maybe, considering we're, like, here now... Whoop, hello. Uh, we can, like, climb up to it. And if there's another way to get it otherwise. Small gap you can squeeze through inside is a cave. I'm looking at this picture, and it is a tiny, tiny gap. Like, one that you wouldn't really notice. Can you grab that, please? Can you grab that, please? Comet shard. I mean, it's, it's money. Money is important for sandwich ingredients, and the fact that there is sandwich meta changes a lot. Okay, so yeah, let's just keep on looking around here. Again, this this sounds like it fits it, but it's not this. Is it maybe like over here instead? Because it says to the left until you reach a second. Where you find a small gap you can squeeze through. It's not here. It looks like there is kind of rocks making a little little hidey hole. Like it's just, it, it, it is the most the definition of inconspicuous. You know what this game needs? It actually does kind of need a repel. 
I wouldn't I wouldn't even mind a repel being added to this game in DLC where it's like, okay, I don't need to battle pogies. Uh no. Okay. No. Dang. I watched me be not even at the right waterfall because I didn't actually know which one to go from. We'll have to see. Where else on the lookout for I think the last one actually don't do we have all of them? No, we're missing one more. We're definitely missing one more from our lineup, I think. Um are we? Which let's see here. Can you guys not be inside me, please? Um, so we got we got Great Tusk, Scarlet, Screamtail, Brew So then one, two, three, four, five, six. No, we just have the one more, actually. Never mind. Wow, okay. Okay, so which lab is this? Let's just start from here. Okay, so it says So let, so we'll, is this is this one number two? Let's see, this one is... Okay, we'll go to number two. Okay. Leave the lab, then follow down as if you were going to area three. Past the first pile of rocks on... Okay, here we go. Until you go past the waterfall. So we're going to go down and head towards the waterfall. This is ridiculously complicated. Okay, there's a the waterfall. That was where we were, I'm pretty sure. Okay, wait, wait, is that it there? Okay, oh my god, are you serious? Is that it right there? Oh my god. Wow. Wait. Never mind. Okay. Uh, no? Oh, okay. I guess not. I s okay, this is the most ridiculously hard to find thing I think I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. Oh, this is it. Oh my god, that is hidden. So now we gotta play the game of getting it to spawn. So for this, are they on the roof? They totally are. So we're going to go in here. We can run. If we see it, we'll attack it. If not, we will uh, see if we can make a sandwich to make either... It's dark and... Dark flying, right? If I'm correct. It is... Dark dragon. Okay. So either dark or dragon, we will eat something to, to make that, which I don't know if we have one to do that, but dang it, I will try. I think we'll know if we see it, because it will kind of have, we'll, we'll kind of pop off, right? Like, like when, when I see it, my brain will go, yo, oh my god. Psychic like terrain, because it's, it's a large one, right? Like, it's a large one for sure, I feel. Let's see. Grab everything and anything that we can in here first. Well, that seems to be kind of it for that. Uh, in the water. Let's see. Not here. Big boy. Okay, we might have to eat. I think we should try and eat a sandwich. Oh, well, never mind. 58 Roaring Moon. Okay. Sure. Let's oh! Well, that's not terrifying. It's smaller than I thought, actually. God, you're cool. You're super cool. Um, let's just... Aerial Ace. Let's not do too much damage. Okay. That was almost too much damage. Flamethrower, huh? Okay. Fire Trick for weak damage. Frick, I forgot about the crit. Frick, I forgot. That's a problem. 
Okay, well, that sucks. You know what, let's go with... Well, at least we know it can just spawn in the floor here. Picnic. Oh, never mind. Can't host a picnic here. Are you serious? Why is that? Why can't I have a picnic there? Is there, is there a reason? Is there just too many Pokemon nearby? Oh, really? Dang. Alright. I'll just keep running then. Oh, well, there's one of you. We can get another one of you while we're here. Um... Did we catch you off guard? I don't think we did, no. Okay. I just noticed, like, it's one of its blue is different, actually. Like, one of its wings. Do you see that? That's a bit strange. Um, let's just aerial ace. Good. Wish. Okay, we're going to use a repeat ball now. We'll, we'll, we'll get you. If I can use my second one on you. That's a crit. Good. We can trade that one away. Okay. Ghost Fairy. I think Fluttermane was one of the, the banned ones, too, by Smogon. Which is good, because... They're losers. Sorry, I find Smogon to be... Irredeemable. The fact that people are like, bro, if you're not running the Smogon, you're gonna, like, lose. It's gonna be cringe. It's like, my man. I just wanna play Pokemon. I just... People that are like, oh, this game's terrible because it does this and this and this to the competitive scene. And I'm just like, bro. Bro, I don't care. Bro, I'm sorry. I don't care. Okay, there's another one of you, which we don't need. I hear some crazy roars, or is that just Psyduck being- or, or Golduck, rather. It might just be Golduck. Okay, well, there's a lot of you guys right here. Oh, hello. There we go. So, this, the, the rate is not that bad when you can just run around, it seems. So, let's just do Flower Trick, which should do low damage, but with it not being- it should be- there. good, 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 good. Okay. Dragon Dance. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Um... I just want to do just a, just, a, just a little bit of damage. Just a... Just baby damage. Baby, baby damage. I mean, that's what Flip Turn can do, I guess. Just no bubble, bubble Donalds. Bubble, bubble Donalds. Come on. Like a little bubble flop Just a little bubble diamond. Bubble bubble diamond. Come on. Little 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 hit. Oh, that's what I want. Little diamond. Alright, so from that. You're nice and weak. Send you out to just defend. Okay. Alright. Let's go with... Uh... I mean, we're in a cave. That might work. Let's see. Probably not, honestly. I bet you Ultras are gonna just be better. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that was a big crit. Yeah, Ultras are probably just gonna be the best. At least after this, we can do, uh... Do a uh, repeat ball for the second one. Is that another one just right behind me, right there? Nope, that's that's uh, one done. Okay, I swore it was. Ooh, this is this is a spicy little battle. I'm shocked. You wow, how come that did like no damage? Is it? What the frick? That did, like, no damage for some reason. Does this dude have, like, no special attack? Is he a pure attack boy? Okay. Dragon Dance. God, Dragon Dance is a good move. Attack up. 
speed up. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Come on, wow. That'll hurt. Goodbye. So, let's go with, um, just you for now to just tank it. Even though if he has a, a good dragon type move, that'll kind of be it, huh? Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. Flamethrower. Yeah, he does very little damage with that. Very strange. I gotta see his, his stats and stuff. Wow. What is this dude, a legendary? Am I right? That's how it feels. Okay, I thought this would be the last video. There may be more than one if we got this and doing some more catching and stuff and we'll have to see. Because uh, I was like, oh, we'll just do the tournament and then catch the Mons. But one, finding them took way longer than I expected. And two, um, is that we also have then all the gym stuff, which I didn't know was a thing. Let's see here. Okay. Come on. I know I I know some people are happy that this game has reverted to hey Pokemon are actually hard to catch again, which good, I guess. If you're into that, God, I'm keeping hold of a Master Ball in case... Like, if I ran into this dude and he was shiny and, like, this was what I had to deal with, I would cry. I would cry. Okay, so let's see here. Come on. Okay, so someone also told me, Hey, you know why, why Finizen evolves at level 38? It's because... Superman came out in 1938 and it's a big reference to specifically Superman with finding a uh, a booth to change in that's why it has to leave and why he looks unassuming and normal that's kind of genius actually I was going Toku when it turns out or Toku or like Henshin and all that but it's not it's not that at all apparently it's very much a, a western comic books thing which I hey I miss that I missed that entirely. Okay, we could probably do timer balls now. They're probably better. Okay. Let's go with some timer boys. Plus, timer balls look cool. Timer balls are rad looking. And plus, he's like, they're from back in time. Right? Back in time. Yes, do that some more, please. Okay. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sick. Welcome to the team, Roaring Moon. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So. It's possible that this creature listed as Roaring Moon in Exposition Journal that still holds many mysteries. I hate these entries. They're, like, you're, you're expecting lore and you're getting literally nothing. Nice. Aw, oh, big lag. Big lag. So let's go with... Um, let's put him in our party, because I want to, and I want to actually kind of train him, because he's super cool. So we'll go with you. You know what? In fact, honestly, I kind of want to train up some of these guys to use them. I kind of do, just to be like, to be a bit different, right? So we'll go with you. We can get rid of you for steel. And, uh, sure. Yeah, let's, let's, let's play around with these. Sure. Because we got, we got a couple darks, we got a couple fightings, right? Okay, sure. Let's 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 do some of these guys. Let's let's see. Fluttermane here, Wish, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Mystical Fire. So your stats are firmly in Special Attack. Okay, so we're just yeah, we're just gonna look at you here. And in fact, let's go with this, 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 and this. Except, well, no, not yet. Okay. Yeah, you're super cool. You're super 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 cool. So let's change your position to up at the top. So, Zen Headbutt Flamethrower. Oh, you have no special attack. 
we need to get rid of flamethrower. Jaw lock prevents the user and the target from switching out until either of them faints. That's cool. Breaking swipe might be pretty good on you, actually. But jaw lock is interesting. Not as good as night slash. Night slash is incredible. Um, but yeah, let's get let's get rid of uh, a flamethrower because one tight matchup, but also two. Yeah, um, morning sun is strange. That's a strange one. You're yeah, you're, you're very much for for that. We can give you. I wouldn't even mind giving you stun spore honestly instead of morning sun. So I'm not going to use morning sun. Why would I? Why would I do that? Um, Superpower at lunge is there. Bug bite. How much, how much does lunge do? Let's see here. Because I'm thinking, don't we have pounce? You can't learn pounce, which is wild that no one can learn pounce. Leech life, though, does do 80. 80 damage, 80 physical damage. Now, this does 82, but this gives half back. Like, yeah. Yeah. Let's give you leech life, which is, again, incredible now. Uh, sure. Uh, instead of wish, is there something you can get? Memento is pretty crazy. Um, so, Memento into uh, Hounds, Hounds Dower or whatever. The uh, Houndstone, right? Doing that is incredible because his move does more damage the, the more have died. Right? I'll leave that for now. Screech, we definitely can get rid of. Um... Because you're ground earth. Electric terrain. Yeah, because if you're earth, let's actually give earth moves. So we'll get bulldoze for you. Because you don't need... I mean, I guess for, for type matchup, that's not too bad. And as for you... Giga Drain, Sucker Punch, Clear Smog, Synthesis, Growth. Growth might not be bad, actually. Growth into Giga Drain and Payback... That's not bad. Get that big attack up. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, let's... Oh, frick, we're gonna need to find another one, huh? I'll do one circuit. I'll look for one. And if not, we might just come back later and get the other one, because, I mean, that's... that's. It's a bit annoying. But, uh, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, the, again, the rate has not been bad thus far. It seems not terrible to just run around here and look for it. This room, though, is interesting. I wonder if there's more to this room than meets the eye. Like, what's this marking on the ground? You see this? It's very intriguing. That combined with... Is there stuff in the air? No. Um, that combined with, like... The fact that many people believe that, yes, this is, in fact, the... Oh, hello. Perfect. And you know what? Let's do... Let's do doubles, baby. Cool. Um, that this is an area made by the... Whoa! Interesting that they have different battle animations. Interesting. Very strange, actually. Okay. Um, huh. Why is that, I wonder? Regardless, um that this was made by the Kalos super weapon and by it being made by the Kalos super weapon is why you know you have like the glimmit which looks like like kind of how it does um looking like the Kalos super weapon or maybe it's the other way around where the super weapon in Kalos was uh made to look like it i don't know there's there's many different things that can happen that might hurt yeah no i just want to stun spore you that's all i want good yeah do that and then i just want to stun spore you so, yeah, do, do that. That's fine. That's fine. I don't care. Come on, don't miss. Don't miss stun spore. Thank you. Take my sticky, sticky ooze. Okay, and do we have a, an attack that's not very effective? Nope, they all are very effective. So in that case, let's use a repeat ball just here. Repeat ball has very good chances. Not the best, but good. Oh, he's going to be big strong. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay. So, we only need a couple more. 
Like, we just need to find another... Uh, oh, there we go. Critical capture. Nice. Perfect. I guess I should check to see which one I prefer for its typing and stuff, too. Let's see here. Probably just the one I grabbed, but... Good. We got that. Let's go box it. Hello! The one I got here, though. Uh, so that's dark, and this one is dragon type. Dark is probably better. Um, but it's fine. I can change that whenever, because I, I can go I can go and give items and stuff. So, uh, all right, let's go with that. Now that we got that, uh, we'll be oh hello little guy. Look at the little feller. So we'll we'll be on the lookout for the last two that we need extra copies of. Well, three, I guess, because we also need Sandy Shocks. Um, yeah, we'll be on the lookout for those. I guess, though, you know what? I could even trade away my originals and just go get more later. That's also true. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. However, there is still one more thing for us to do in Area Zero. So, besides, like, explore, because, I mean, like, oh my god, I want to just explore here. Um, Mild Mint... We are going to jump on down. Just a little bit here. Oh, I forgot I can't fly again. Oh, wait, no, you can, kind of. Okay. Hello? I see that. Dang, did, did, did that, like, unlock? So I remember doing that before, and I don't think it actually worked. Okay, so... I do need another screen tail. Get one of you while we're here. Okay. I uh, just do aerial ace. Good. Baby damage. Good. Thank you for putting yourself to sleep. I think it's very defensive. So I bet you we could do something a bit stronger. Let's do a night slash. I don't think that'll kill. I love the fact that it's so easy to do mashing accidentally. Okay, that's fine. We'll just do one more then. Okay. Good. Thank you for staying asleep. So we got this now for sure if we use our repeat ball. Okay. Until the GTS comes out, it's this is the only way for me to really get a lot of these exclusives. Which is a bit of a shame, but when it does, then it'll be no problem. Okay. You got another one of you. Okay, all right. Is that a triple? No, it's a double, okay. I bet you there's no way to find a triple to Dunsparce just on in the wild. I feel like there's no way they'd actually just put that out there for you. It's like way too... There's no way. So let's just... Um, yeah, so like if you, yeah, if you, once you can climb around here, it's like it totally changes. Also, dang, can we do that again? Because I see there's an item up there. Can you jump? Thank you, I saw that. I guess you could have just platformed up here, but. Just a max revive, okay. Well, head on down. That is our ultimate destination. I guess we can also, like, actually explore this area a bit now. Do dudes spawn up here? Doesn't seem like it, but there is something up there. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a bunch of you. Good. Some rock terror shards, too. Hello. Gotta catch one of you. We'll keep our terror one for sure. Our, uh, our, our big boy. Uh, ooh, uh-oh. Night Slash for now, then. Okay. Was that a crit? No. Okay. Completely forgot that these guys would even be out and about. That was a crit. Okay. Lock it off. Stop it. Uh, I was gonna say you're 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 not dead again. No. Um. Yeah, we're gonna then use. Oh, I wonder if we can. No, we can use stun spore because it's not a. Um, it's not a 
electric move. Uh oh. A little ouch, but not major. And the good news is he won't be able to do stuff this turn yet. There we go. God, it's nice having a pogey with stun spore again. Well, pogey. Quote unquote. <laughs> Dude is right behind me. He's like, I see what you're doing to my brother. Do you think you can live with the consequences of that? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I can very happily, actually. No worries there. Okay. Alright. Oh, well, never mind. We are fighting you. So, let's run from that. We don't need that. And... Let's just see here. There's definitely yeah, something up there. Please tell me I can climb this or I'll make it. I made it. That was close. What is this? Trick room. Okay. And it doesn't 100% feel like a lot of these are actually placed. I know the regular ones aren't, but even the, the HMs there, I'm like, hmm, I don't know about that. Um, okay, so... We'll need to find another Sandy Shocks. I think, is that the only one we need another one of at this point? No, another Brute Bonnet, too. Okay. We'll get... I'll, I can get those after for sure, but for now... Let's go, and... Yes. We'll move Brute Bonnet for now, actually. Okay, we're going to go with that and that. Okay, so here is what we're going to do. We're going to go back into here. At least as I think where it is. All I've heard is go back there. Hi, you're not who we wanted to run into. I'm going to leave you alone now. Actually, you know what? Put you at the front. Let's let's do let's do our strat again. Yeah, please leave me alone. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm gonna put you at the front. Also, got some ability capsules. That's not ability patches. That's I got excited when I got that. Then I realized patch and capsule are different. Um, I'll just give you a quick claw here. There we go. All right, so let's go on in. This is what I think is going to be here. We got to go and do it. Okay. Okay, all this is here. We can press it. Good. God, I'd love to be a child and discover all this on my own through just continually playing the game and not have to rely on an internet guide because of the fact I'm recording videos, but... It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, am I crazy or is this not here? Are you kidding me? I came all this way to not find the thing that I was told would be here. Oh my god. Are are you are are you are are you serious? Uh Okay, come on. Where do I go? Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Where can you get it? Capture one, playing the story. Capture two. Credits will roll. You can go back to area zero. A diagonally placed platform. Go straight for the capture and use that master ball. No. No. What do you take me for? So he is outside here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Spoilers. That one you saw earlier, you can totally catch. And I, th I thought it would be, you know, in this area, but it turns out it's not. It's somewhere around here. We'll go look for him. Let's uh, take a look. Hey, who knows? Maybe we'll run into another, another little guy. All right. Boy, the camera really zooms out here, huh? Oh, hello. Well, you couldn't even get this on your first one, huh? 
Terror Blast, that's nice, that's nice. All these Terror Shards are good. Apparently, you can get some free Terror Shards by going to the, uh, the cafe, too. So we might go there after. Uh, let's see. Where is this dude? I will say, this might seem annoying, but I love the fact that this area is a full, proper, like, yeah, you need to explore everywhere sort of area. Dragon Terror Shards. I got 50 of those already. That's not a big deal. Oh, there he is. The frame rate low in the distance. Yeah, there he is. By a brute on it, too. Perfect. Well, let's get you first, buddy. Why can't I lock onto you? There you are. Yeah, we'll get you first, because we need another one of you. And then just Sandy Shocks, huh? So yeah, we'll go with Stun Spore first. Great. Never mind. Ooh, God, you are powerful, huh? Let's leech life some of that away, then. Dang it. We're too... Well, it's because it crit, that's why. Well, at least we get that back. Sure. Okay. Man, okay, you're kind of strong. You're kind of strong, huh? Okay, so then in that case... Yes. Okay. I'm gonna save so I don't kill you. It is smart that they let you get a second, though. I think that's a smart thing, because then you can trade. If you really want. Look at him. Good, good thumbnail shot. Thank you. Growl! Okay. Slither wing. Why are you facing that way, buddy? Oh, he, like, turned around on us. Also, thank you. You've activated my trap card. What level are you even? Level 72. Not bad, not bad. Start with Stun Spore. Thank you. That's why I gave it to you. Okay. Nice. Very good. The fact that you're faster than him is kind of wild. Uh oh. I was going to say, yeah, that would hurt. Okay. Um, I don't want to do too much damage. So let's just do heavy slams. And plus, I want to see you in combat. You're so weird. You're so cool. You're so cool. Like, that honestly feels like the better evolution that I've always wanted for them. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, wow. Okay, in that case, um, Bulldoze? A little bit more, a little bit more. Speed falling is also very useful. That means that we can always kind of go first. We can bully you. Okay. I love the tail. What a smart, like, what a smart design. So normally I'd be like, haha, steel, except no, not really. Okay. go with um interesting he doesn't even get like a special battle theme it's just his regular one let's go I feel zen headbutt shouldn't do too much to you kind of wish that ours could be on the ground you know oh it's weird there's like two of me um yeah zen headbutt shouldn't do a ton Good. Yeah, that's fine. And if he flinches, that's good. Or not. We're fine. Okay, so yeah, one more and we should be good to go. Well, especially because, yeah, the protosynthesis will not wear off. So then headbutt. Perfect. That's not going to do much at all. Alright, let's see if you give more trouble than, than the other. Watch it be not... Because legendaries sometimes have lower rates. Let's see if that's the case. Okay, never mind. Boy, my man's gonna just giga impact over and over, huh? Dang, that's some damage, too. He really does just completely one-hit KO them, huh? I mean, 
you're ghost, so good luck one hit KOing a ghost with that. In fact, I think flamethrower is the only thing you can attack with for that. Let's see. Oh, never mind. This is truly the catch rate hell. Wait, wouldn't the wait, 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 wait. Wouldn't repeat balls work too? Cuz we already have one. Okay, well, I think it will at least. Let's see here. God, I need more repeat balls. What a good Pokeball. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're going to... Some classic catch rates. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh, frick, yeah, only Flamethrower will actually work on you. Nice. That was a good move on our part. Even Dragon-type moves wouldn't work if you had any, because the Fairy. Ghost Fairy is a strong typing, actually. Like, really strong. So, while we're doing this, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna type in Smogon Band. Who did they ban? Um, Palafin and Iron Bundle are banned. Really? Iron Bundle has been banned? Palafin, base form is underwhelming. Zero to Hero allows it to transform to a tier, um, through the untiered team, box of legendaries. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this ball here. I'm gonna instead start doing timer balls. Uh, Palafin's Jet Punch, which I got rid of, but I should probably bring back. Oh no, Iron Bundle's the different one! Iron Bundle is... is Robot Delibird. Why? We live in a timeline where Delibird is quick banned from... Why? Ludicrous offensive Profile. Unresisted Stab Combo of Dry Freeze and Hydro Pump. Oh yeah, that could be bad actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, which, which other one's here? Houndstone, but they're considering only banning his move. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Fluttermane, for one, is a po- Okay, so, Fluttermane, Houndstone. Okay, so Fluttermane is Fairy Ghost, huge special attack and speed. Houndstone isn't powerful, but Last Respects is. Okay. Your Palafin and Iron Bundle were also brought out. Interesting. Oh, funny enough, this article is written by someone who worked on localization for it, huh? Yes, yeah, so, so... Huh. I'm very... I'm, I'm shocked that a deli bird is considered broken. I had no thoughts about it, so I'm very curious when I get my own to see how good it is. Again, I'm gonna need to be getting my own, though. Which, uh... I mean, I could get it through either logging into my friend's world with the Union Square and catching my own, or it's just way easier to just literally catch doubles and trade them over, plus they get the bonus experience. I definitely need Iron Hands, because he is super broken for raids. Uh, Belly Drum Drain Punch is ludicrous. It's so good. Um, so there'll be that. I'm gonna train up one of those. And the fun thing is, Berserker, if you get its secret ability, um, then it will... Okay, I'm actually going to heal up this turn instead. If you get the secret ability of Berserker, because people are saying that you can get that to help out. So Berserker uh, is... Yeah, so then if we go to... What, what was its hidden ability to do again? Um, its hidden ability does... Where is it here? Steely Spear increases the power of Steel-type moves by the user and all ally Pokémon. That's the crazy part. It's the fact that the allies also get it. So meaning that if you bring him out, he's gonna power up all those Iron Hands too. Like, that's crazy. That's super crazy. Alright. So I'm just, I'm just chatting while we throw balls, which is the classic Pokemon experience, right? 
and when I say classic, I mean this was what it was like back in the day for kids who don't know. Um, I would, I this this would be me and Ho Oh. The 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 thing is, this sucked when you had Pokemon like Ho Oh who had like recover, because you'd be like you'd be doing this forever, and you'd be like. And then they would heal up, and you'd be like, okay, well, time to play the game of don't kill it, right? And yeah, you could use False Swipe, but it's so tough back in those days to get False Swipe. Nowadays, they give you False Swipe like it's nothing. Back in those days, False Swipe was a... Uh... Was there even False Swipe in... Yeah, there was False Swipe in Gen 2, but I think it was the, the move of S Sneasel, who's, who's only, like, late post-game. God, Sneasel was a weird Pokemon to be like... Yeah, you're not finding this till you're basically done the game. I mean, I guess same with, um, same with, like, Larvitar and stuff, which made getting one that much more interesting. Because now you're getting ones that it's like, oh, wow. And and Skarmory, too. Skarmory you're not seeing to the post-game, to the point where many people assume Skarmory is a Gen 3 Pokemon. Which, fair. I mean, I assumed, uh, for some reason, I always thought Slugma and Macargo were Gen 3 also, but they're not. They're Gen 2. You just don't see them much. I also thought Kecleon was Gen 2. That's just because he's in the anime. Uh, very early on in the, the Season 2 anime. Like, way earlier than you'd think. Those early cameos are always interesting. I don't think... It's interesting. They, they were at a point where, like, there really has not been many early cameos for Scarlet and Violet. There's only been the starters so far. And even then, uh, we have no idea when and if we're going to see a Scarlet and Violet anime, because there's nothing pointing towards it. Right now, the next episode for Pokemon is showing um, that, that Go has a confession for Ash. And everyone is saying, yo, is he... you know, um, I don't think that's the case, but that'd be a surprise. I would, I would call that a marked surprise. But it's not going to be that. Okay, so we'll get this. Yeah, wow, I really thought I would do all the post-game in one episode, huh? I'm crazy. It's an RPG. What was I thinking? It's an RPG with RNG mechanics for catching little scrimblows. What was my thought process? Well, while we waited, we might as well look where we can find another Sandy Shocks, huh? Sandy Shocks. Where can we find another one of those? Uh, it's, it, it can be found... It's in the rocky area to the left of Research Station 2. Alright, alright. Uh, so we will we'll look for that for sure. We thought we got it? Nope, still not yet. So we'll just go back to Area 2 after this. And uh, thankfully, we I think we can just flying taxi out of here. And then, and then uh, go go right to the area too. It's nice that you can actually just warp right there. It's really, I really appreciate it. So yeah, I think it's the last one we need. I am, I'm gonna be honest too. Like looking at Sandy Shocks, I prefer it to Magnezone. I don't like a lot of the Gen Four new evolutions. I feel like they don't match the aesthetic of their previous forms, and they they more resemble Pokemon of that era, which yeah, I don't I don't love. Like, I can look at, like, like that's why I was really excited for uh, Cleavor, because I look at Cleavor and I'm like, you could be a Gen 1 Pokemon. Like, absolutely. Basculegion? That could be a Gen 5 Pokemon. You know, Weirdeer? Yeah, you you could pass, right? I like that a lot. Are, are you going to have to struggle to death, bro? Are you actually going to struggle to death on me? There's no way, right? There's no way you're gonna need to do that. Actually, he might. He super might. I'm shocked that these timer balls, they don't feel as good as they used to in previous games. I feel like timer balls used to be so much better. Okay, I was gonna say, that's not gonna kill. So now we'll just heal up again. Okay. So next part, at least, I will be able to have the rest of the uh, the Paradox Mons and show them off uh, from, uh, from, from my own. Also see about trading Maridon there to get uh, its Pokedex entry. I doubt any of my friends will let me get their second one, but 
it'd be nice. But probably I'm just gonna have to wait till I can uh, go onto the GTS and trade for one of my shinies or something and be like, hey, who wants a shiny shroomish? But then again, the, sh the value of shinies has decreased so much that now I can't really do that. I might just have to look to see what other random, uh, like, rare old Pokemon we need. You know what? I'm switching to Ultra Balls again. Okay. Because they at least seem to shake a couple times. Dang good thing flamethrower isn't increased by attack up, huh? Okay, no. Being able to paralyze him sure makes this easier. Sure makes it easier. This combo of paralysis plus a Pokemon that can only be hit by one of the moves sure makes this a million times easier. And I think the game sees that and they're like, what? You think you got it easy, buddy? You think you can handle this? And it's like, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna press buttons. And if I have to, I reset the game and then do it again and hope the RNG lines up. Boy, they really want you to use that Master Ball. I'm not going to. That Master Ball exists for one express purpose, and that is to be there in case I run into a shiny that I need to catch, who has a low catch rate. Like, if I ran into a shiny Roaring Moon, then, uh, yeah, I need to catch that. Uh, if I- because most of them, it's like, okay, Quick Ball, you're good, right? But for some of them, it's like, that's not enough. So then I'll, I'll Quick Ball first, then if Quick Ball first doesn't work, then I use Master Ball, right? That's the key. That's the strat. I definitely used to, as a kid, be like, well, I gotta use the Master Ball on the, the Legendary, right? It's like, no! Especially later on, when Legendaries have such regular catch rates. Not like now, where I'm still here. I'm still here. We just keep... Keep it going. It's just still happening. Come on! Any time. Shadows those reflections though. Can we go back to cool view? We might be able to. Let me press the stick in. We might be too close to the wall to get to like battle view. Let's see here. Let's see, I think it's left stick, right? Oh yeah, we can't. Wait. Oh there we go. Yeah, we were in it. Okay. I love being able to click a default view actually. I actually am very happy they got rid of being able to run around while your Pokemon battle. That was too distracting in Legends Arceus. It was kind of neat because you could like line up for some cool moments, but it was also way too distracting. And like, the too too much, too much going on, right? I just want to just turn off my brain. I just want to be dumb, you know? I'm going to try my last repeat ball. Let's give it a shot before we go back to some timers. Come on, baby. Nope. God, this catch rate is, is worse than me trying to get a date, you know? Waka waka, I say as I've had more dates in the last couple months here than I've had in the rest of my life because women here don't have as ridiculously niche. What am I trying to say? Basically, what I'm trying to say is that w girls in Canada only really want truckers and hockey players, and I'm neither of those, so I never had a chance. Whereas here, I have at least a shot, and that is nice. I think Bulk Up has like 40 PP, or 25 or something, so hey, we'll finally be able to, uh, to actually get it there. Let's just keep going. Oh, this is, yeah, classic. What is its catch rate, I wonder? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. I'll type in... Coridon catch rate. What's its catch rate? Very low catch rate. That doesn't say anything. Catch rate is uh, 3. 1.6%. When an ordinary Pokeball is thrown. So it is a 1% chance with an ordinary Pokeball, huh? Dang. That's not very good. 
Um, so let's just see what else does he have. Uh, so at level one, he has Sunny Day, Breaking, Swipe, and Rock. He gets Rock Smash, Ancient Power. He doesn't really, because I got him up to level 100 almost, and I mean, Giga Impact was a move that he gets at 98, which is funny that this one has it. Um, it's not really, it's not really great. Um, let's see here. Interesting, they are labeled still as Paradox Pokemon. I guess they are, technically. Then they're also the only Paradox Pokemon, Coridon and Maridon are the only ones to follow a conventional naming there, right? Um, unlike the- I know some people don't like the- the Pokemon with the names that are not, like, Pokemon names. I kind of like it. It gives them, you know, UMA sort of things, you know? I like it. You know, ancient Pokemon and future Pokemon having, like, not names, but they're, they're just so- they're so different. Come on, wow. Can we do this? this I'm just just waiting at this point so okay this is another thing you know how we oh don't die that did a lot actually oh cuz he's all buffed up don't kill yourself don't kill yourself frick are you just gonna return fled somewhere frick dang yo that's kind of stinky. So, let's try that again. And uh, let's... Let's... Do it? I might just skip ahead, because I don't... You don't need to see all this. Oh my goodness, there we go. Oh, I wasn't even looking. I was literally just on my phone, just repeatedly throwing balls over and over and over. Actually, Power Gem might not be bad. Power Gem's pretty good. Power Gem is better than Mystical Fire, honestly. If I'm being honest here, Power Gem gives better type coverage. Sure, let's go with that. Um, you dang. Dang, yeah, that was... Pain in the butt. It was not fun. Seems to be the Wing King. Oh, he does have a name. It is said to have split the land with its bare fists. Cool. A Ooh, Apex build. Wow. A loss? What? Is that just him saying that he's the more powerful one and he's happy? Nice. Um, I just realized it said Apex build, huh? This one's still Ori Hakam phase. This one's fighting, which I think ours is dragon, so that's different. Um, okay. So yeah. Does does it actually in the Pokedex list the different forms? Apex build. What do you mean apex build? Is there Is there others that we can See? I don't know. Why do you even show me if it's if there's no way I can get them? Wait, we wait, what we have him. Why is he in the recent notes? Very strange. Um good, we got him. That's good. So now we can get on out of here. Fly here. This dude's coming all the way down here, and he's like, "Whoa, I'm in a, I'm in a place I've never seen before." That's wild. So wait, we just need Sandy Shocks now. Might as well go get him while we're here, right? Because I think we have, I'm gonna, because we got two Great Tusks, two Brute Bonnets. We just need another Sandy Shocks. We got two Scream Tail, two Flutter Mane, right? I think I'm pretty sure. Oh no, we do need another Brute Bonnet still. We didn't get a chance to because we killed him. We super killed him. Okay, so let me just see here again. Sandy Shocks. I've already forgot because it's late at night and I'm playing Pokemon and I just... I can't... I can't keep my brain going. Um, 
to the research rocky area left of research station two sounds good we'll do that brute bonnet you can find everywhere so he's not too much of a problem in french his name is Balage Sable, and in German his name is Sandfell, which is, sounds like a Seinfeld parody. His shiny's pretty cool. It's all like gold and like rusty looking. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. All right, so let's look for this guy. Let's see here. Sandy area to the left. It said. I think it means just right here. There's Brute Bonnet. Okay, let's get you. So as long as we don't kill you in one hit again, let's not use let's not use that and let's use just low sweep this time. Okay, get his knees, get his knees. Get him in the knees. Good. Okay. All right, all right, all right. And that's fine actually. Whatever, it just means that we won't kill you for sure in one hit. Let's hit you in the knees again. Okay, so now we can finally catch you. Uh, just go with... There you go. Just need one more. Alright, let's just give you... These guys are a little bit annoying to catch. And get you. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like him on the ground more. There's a crit capture, though. Which, uh, apparently the chances are super high when you're doing, um... Doing ones you've already caught, too. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we just need the one more. Let's go with uh, hi bird. Welcome to my personal space. Okay, there we go. Ah, there you go, right there, huh? You're just you're just chilling right there. This sandy area is very small, huh? Tiny. And that's the last one we need. Oh, wait, do, wait, did we get two of our larva buddy? I think we did. I think we did. Just start with the stuns. Wait, will stun sport? Yeah, stun sport will work. I did this exact thing before. Never mind. Never mind. Why did that... I don't... It's fine. I don't... It's fine. I'm tired. I'm just trying to catch them all. That's all I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to catch them all. Okay, I'll just let's just get it, get them in the shins over and over. I'm gonna get you in the shins again, buddy. Okay, one more, one more shin strike should be good. One more, just just little little hit, little hit. That's all we need. All right, and let's go. Just an ultra ball. And I'm just gonna double check. We got another one of our bug boys, and then we can get the rest of them next time between parts, and we'll be able to get them all. Uh, that said, I'm gonna be getting them like I'm gonna be getting them all in my spare time, but I want to show off the new guys too. So I want to see how they look in battle. Like I've seen, I've seen how they look, you know. Um, oh, nice in in you know picture form, but uh, not uh, not uh, you know anywhere else. Okay, so let's get that. I'm just gonna double check. I got two of the bug boys. I have, I have one. Okay, so all my seconds will go here, right? So we got, yeah, 
we got. Second one, second one, second one. We need Bug Boy. Didn't we get a second Flutter Main? Because we definitely caught another one. Didn't we? Am I crazy? Frick, I feel like I'm going crazy. Oh my god. Guys, I am tired. Yeah, because we caught one on the... Our, yeah, we caught one on our way down. Okay. And then there's the other one there. Okay. Okay. That's fine. So then Flutter Main can go here. And then we just need... We just need the boy. And we're good. So let's go look for the boy who... There was tons of them down here. Guys, I am... I'm exhausted. Guys, I'm so exhausted. I'm sorry. Like, you're, you're getting me at my worst. You're getting me for uh, kind of uncut Tanner content, which is all Tanner content. The joke is I'm uncircumcised, but you knew that already. Um, okay, we need little bug feller. Let's see. And also, I totally did cut it. Not my PP, but the the footage there. Um, so... Ooh. These guys were, like, around here if I'm... Th no! Go away! Stop it! Stop it, stop it! No! Why are you so slow, buddy? Okay. Let's go with this. Where's the guy? Where's the guy? We need to go. Oh. I'll cut ahead. All right, there we go. We got the second slither wing. So because of that, uh, we are good to go. We have all of our boys, which I will then trade in between parts. So. Yeah, here I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna be done. We're super not. We gotta go do all the gyms. We still got a tournament to do. Oh boy. Sounds good, guys. I will see you guys next time for some more Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. I'm exhausted right now. This was, I thought, would be just a little thing and was not. So sounds good. I will see you guys later for some more, though. Ciao.